Welcome back to... I don't even remember what I was doing in this episode. Uh, I think I've made that joke multiple times. In the last episode, we saw a murder right here. Um, this, we now we suspect K, and we're paying Von Karma's assistant. I think that's basically everything. And in this episode, we're going to see who this guy is. So our victim was the Secretariat of this Embassy, I take it? Manny Kochin. I heard that he was an admirable person. Very admirable. Hmm. Manny Kochin. I'm pretty sure we heard that name somewhere. The cause of death is a stab to the base of the neck. He was lax and watching his back. I, I was about to say watching his back. Dang it, I'm, I'm getting these two confused. We were fortunate that the- Dang it, see? I missed it so much! We were fortunate that the fire missed our fire victim's body for the most part. If the fire had burned a bit longer, it would have made identifying him a hassle. So Mr. Cochin was stabbed to death in the middle of a raging fire? That is kind of epic, to be honest. I wonder what's happened inside this room. Don't you think it's kind of epic, though? Notes on this guy's body. I won't rest until I've inspected every suspicion nook and cranny. What's that thing in his pocket? Hmm? There appears to be something in his pocket. This key! It can't be! What? Impossible! This is the Atagrasis key that was stolen seven years ago? What? But that's... Huh? Seven years ago? Oh! Seven years ago! Do you mean that case where I was framed, sir? Yes, it's the piece of evidence that stole the life of Kay's father seven years ago. Dang, which was then stolen by Kalisto Yu. So Yu's part of this case too, wow. Mr. Faraday was killed with this key, sir? I highly doubt that. I thought he was killed with a knife. Don't you idiot forget that the knife can be a key. Scrappy, at the very least, turn out the details of the crime you're a suspect in. <laughs> I don't think you can forget that very easily, to be honest. Francisca, as you will recall, Detective Gumshoe was not present when Miss Yu made her escape. Plus, even among law enforcement, only a few knew of this key's existence. That's actually true. He shouldn't have been able to figure out that it was the key to the knife. That their new rookie at the time would have been made privy to such knowledge. Aww. I feel like the victim right now. We're all trampled on, sir. I don't think he was trampled on. I think he was stabbed. Hmm. I don't think you want to feel stabbed. I can do that for you, though. I suppose I'll just have to fill you in now. The secret to this key is... Do I have to do it? Oh, cool. I have to do it. Okay, so let's see. Dang, it's been a long time since I played this game. Screw the world ends with you sometimes, man. Oh, oh, wow, that's amazing, sir. It's like comes out a magic trick. Why don't you hold it? Because I don't want to hold a freaking knife that can become a freaking key. Or a key that become a knife. I knew it. This is the same exact piece of evidence that Miss Yu took with her. Yeah, I know, right? I remember this beautiful pattern on the blade. I remember it as well. It's a vine motif, isn't it? Hmm, that's weird. It has the petal from one of the uh, Kadopian Embassy things. It looks like two interwoven vines crisscrossing down the blade. Vine, sir? I think it looks like a bunch of stars, if you ask me. That's true, too. It looks like one of those six-sided stars. It's like a police mark on our IDs. I was thinking about another six-sided star that would have something to do with the Holocaust, but let's not worry about it. <laughs> I really don't think you can call these stars. But <laughs> To say that the detective's art sense is underdeveloped would be an understatement. Don't worry, my, my art sense is underdeveloped, too. These guys kind of look like spikes and death, to me, honest. Then again, it's a blade, so I can understand that. Why was the Bobby's embassy secretary holding this? While we don't know how Mr. Cochin came to possess this key, we do know that this was stolen by the Altagrassi from the Kadopian embassy. That's right. Mr. Faraday had written that fact in his organizer. I believe this means that the further research is required into the Kadopian, the country of Kadopia. Why don't you ask Ambassador Palano about what he heroes? That might actually be smart. Supposedly, he was a candidate to be the Kadopian ambassador once again. Excuse me. Well, that was fun. Now I know what I'm going to eat for dinner. Okay, so that was a weird call, to be honest. Uh, okay, let's not worry about that. She, he should be able to answer any specific questions you may have. Okay. Uh, what about this? Is this a knife that killed the guy? Is this a knife to murder weapon? Some preliminary testing has been conducted. According to the results, the blood on that matches the victim's blood. The blade's shape was also found to be consistent with the stab wound. I suppose this means that the knife we now know that the crime was committed with the knife. This knife's got some really fancy ornamentation going on, huh, sir? Oh yeah, it looks awesome, actually. Looks like a little butterfly. This thing practically screams artsy to me. If only I had an art direction. Although it's also covered in blood, just like the last thing I said was artsy. <laughs> That's not a good thing. Hmm, but the handle's pristine. There's not a single drop of blood on it. Speaking of the handle, I believe it was a butterfly motif. It's very beautiful. Aww, I like butterflies. I saw a butterfly today. It was pretty. I kicked its ass. 
That's a thing. Okay, this looks like a thing. No, it's not a thing. Cool. What, what's this? Hmm? This man. Where do I know him from? That's all you got? Okay, is that everything here? Yeah, that's everything here. I don't really have anything else. Okay, cool. Let's see what Palano has to say. Hey, dude. This was your secretary, right? I can't believe that Manny fell among thieves tonight. Without him, I may not have no idea what my schedule for tonight is. You don't remember your own schedule? Ambassador Palano, I believe your schedule tonight will consist of... Listening to reports from the police. That and only that. <laughs> I ask that you cooperate not only for your own sake, but for Mr. Cochin's as well. But he died. You're a rather strong man, aren't you? How fascinating! I love this guy already! He looks like a freaking lion! Here, I know it isn't much, but I'd like you to have these. What's this? I'm sorry, but it would be against my principles to accept the bribe. Oh, no, no, no! These are simply coupons we distribute to promote the ball. You guys promote the ball by giving us coupons? Remember, we offer a large number of discounts and offers when you visit lovely Babal. Now I remember, the Republic of Babal is known for its feverish tourism industry. So I guess he really wants us to show off in the freaking country, I guess, to give him money. I was wondering if you might tell me about the deceased Manny Cochin. He was my secretary and the ambassador secretariat charged with running the whole place. He was an admirable man. His death is great loss to our country. He was in charge of everything, accounting, printing, taking care of our national treasures. Sorry, but did you say printing? Our country's primary source of revenue is our tourism industry. So in order for us to print the necessary pamphlets, flyers, coupons, etc. I don't know if that's how tourism works, but okay. We found a printing press here at our embassy. I see. Please excuse my forwardness, however. I feel I should mention that I have the distinct impression that I've met him before. Oh, yes. Since you are of the legal profession, I suppose you just might have. What did he do? And where did he do it? After all, Manny was involved in the KG-8 incident. The, the KG-8 incident? The defendant who was found innocent in the case with Manny. Oh right, that's where he was. It was in the newspaper article. That was him. So your Mr. Cochin is the same man as the one in the case. It's been 10 years. Manny recovered personally from that case and dove enthusiastically into his job. He was the one who planned this event and was to oversee this ambassador embassy renovations. It really is a shame. He had such a bright future ahead of him. Yeah, it's kind of bad, to be honest. What exactly did you mean earlier by renovations? We can't have tourists and visitors our embassy think we're a poor nation, now can we? Are you a poor nation? So renovating the embassy is something of an investment. We may have a rather paltry budget, but we're trying to do our best to make do. Okay, so you are poor. However, I guess the only person who could have helped us do our best is no longer with us. That's really sad, actually, that you're so poor. Ambassador Polano, I was wondering if I may ask you about Kadopia. Kadopia? Alright, what would you like to talk about? First, I'd like to ask you about this key. Hmm? What about this key? I found it sticking out of Mr. Cochin's pocket. I believe it originally belonged to this embassy. Is that correct? Hmm. Upon closer inspection, it seems that this key is shaped like a butterfly. That's not exactly about this key, it's also capable of changing into a knife. Oh! How fascinating! Why is everyone so impressed by that? I would be impressed by that too. Possible that the ambassador didn't know about the existence of this key? How does everyone know about the key then? Is this knife form? Is there a flower mark at the base of the ballade? Hmm. I guess this knife might be from when we used to be a part of Kadopia. So the Atigarasu is part of Kadopia. And how did you come to that conclusion? It has both the Kadopia's national symbols, the butterfly and the flower. I suppose Manny used this key here at the embassy back when we were still Kadopia. So this key was stolen by the Yatigarasu seven years ago. But why, exactly? Ambassador Palano, this key was stolen from the Kadopia seven years ago. By Kalisto Yu, otherwise known as the Great Thief Yatigarasu. Oh, really? You were not aware that Miss Yu had broken into this embassy at that time? I'm sorry I can't be of much help. I'm not very familiar with the details, you see. Then what are you familiar with? You're the freaking ambassador! She only became the ambassador after Babal became its own independent nation. But if Manny were still alive, he would probably know about what happened back then. Mr. Cochin and Miss Yu were known each other seven years ago. But that doesn't explain why I found the Yatigarasu's key here in the pre present. What do you mean? Yeah, I thought it does. I actually can't present anything to you right now. What about a knife? Can I present a knife to you? Oh dear! If people were to find out that a murder occurred at our embassy, the number of tourists would plummet as would our revenues. It would be a disaster. I like how this guy only cares about money. What are we gonna do? He really does seem worried. Perhaps I should refrain from bringing this up. 
Yeah, there's nothing else I can really talk about here. So you get to deal with yourself. Let's talk to you. Miles Edgeworth, what is it? Let me tell you something. You're currently my subordinate. I know that. And if you wish to convince everyone else of that, you will speak to me with respect. What did I do? I didn't even talk to you yet. What's with the giddy glint in her eyes? I don't think that will really need necessary, Francesca. Oh, really? Well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't change the fact that you are still under me. I thought Francesca was flying around the world in pursuit of the smuggling case. So then why is she here at this embassy? Hmm. Something doesn't make sense in this scenario. I was investigating at the Alabastian embassy, Ben. I got wind of this mess. Then why are you here then? I'll destroy the Atagasu was due to appear at the embassy as well. Why are you worried about the Atagasu though? Yes, but the difference is that we don't have a fire over there. Although there was an extended at the Bastion Embassy as well. But I left Agent Lang in charge of that case and came over to the Babylese Embassy. Yeah, Lang is here too. Well, I mean like, Sheena's here, so most likely Lang was here. I see you met. Well, he's in the Abelastian Embassy, acting as a bodyguard for Ambassador Alba. However, he seems to have a different reason for being here. Hmm, I wonder why. So the suspect in the murder that occurred in this office is that little girl I see. Is she perhaps trying to be the Yatakarasu? How did you not realize? She just has been yelling that every time you see her. Kay would never harm a soul, sir. Okay. You remember, do you not? About the case we investigated together seven years ago? Yeah, I know. You just forgot. That girl is the daughter of the victim in that case, Mr. Faraday. So she's that feisty little girl. Kay has been on the trail of the Atagasu, which is how she ended up here. Looking for the one who took her father's life. I see. Kay's truly trying hard, but you know what? The other grass who just keeps on tricking us all. How so? The other grass who sent a card saying, I will be there to steal your dirtiest secret. Hmm. She, she did. She did. But all we've had is an arson and a murder. The lab boys aren't going to circles. You know what this is, sirs? It's a breach of contract, and it's going on to rap sheet. I don't think you can go a D for rap sheets. There's a lot of problems with the breach of contract. If you ask me, I'm perfectly fine with the fact that nothing was stolen tonight. I do wonder though, if Felisa Yuli is the Yatakarasu. Hmm, and that's all we seem to get out of her. So we'll see the rest in the next episode. It's already been 13 minutes and we've already gotten a little bit more stuff done. So we'll see you guys in the next episode. It's Neon signing off.